Live from Atlanta, Georgia. Live from the Bear Cave in Rock Hill, South Carolina. It's we the are the Keto Show. He's Lee. I'm Mike. I'm your reformed fat man, and he is I'm just smoking under bears. Instruction. <laughs> He's smoking bears. And yep. uh, we're here to entertain you, I hope. <laughs> well, it's it's a great cooking chat. Yeah. You know, that, that's that's the way I like to do it. I like to refer yeah, to that as cooking chat, and we cover about anything and everything that we can talk about. Yep, and we have fun doing it. Absolutely, and we make something, uh, something maybe you hadn't thought of. Maybe, yeah. uh, obviously, keto. Right. And, uh, you know, healthy and quick. But, you know, the thing about it, everything that we do. Oh, hey, there's, there's your, Ray. Yeah. So my, my yeah. middle daughter and uh, just Jason. Howdy, howdy. But, you know, we've got both of, both of us, what we cook, while it's keto, it doesn't have to be. Right, right. You can make it into anything you want to make it and, you know, make it yours. Do it. You know, we use something that's uh, great for keto, but you don't have to. You use uh, like I'm what I'm making tonight. I'm using uh, not fruit and things like that. So, but you don't have to. And really the only thing we ask is that you have fun and tell us whether or not it tastes good. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And we hope that you'll one day make it. There was something that a viewer of mine asked, said, uh, why don't I do the do vi uh, short videos or non-live videos, I should say, because it's not shorts. It's uh, we'll, um, where I can do remake the stuff we make on the lives and, a sh in the, and put it into, you know, you know, five to 10 minute video. And I thought that's a good idea. And I'm going to start doing that. You're going to hear my dog at the door. He wants in. Okay. Okay. Jerome Thomas. Welcome. My, good to uh, see everybody. So trying Lee, to get this out, please. tell me what you're making. So <clears throat> I am. So sometimes you, you watch another YouTuber and you get inspiration, right? Right. And then you want to add to it to make it your own so it's not a copy. Right. But I, So I got to give credit to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. Good channel. A while back, uh, he's a friend of the channel. Yep. A while back, he did a Pizza Sloppy Joe. The name of that is Intrigues Me Good. I love the sound of that name. And, and I'll tell you what, Mike, I... I saw that and I was like, oh my, I got to do it. And I made it. And my wife loved it. And I mean, she goes to the point where she says, that's so good, you can make it again. There you go. The yeah. basics is it's all the toppings of a pizza uh -huh. mixed together and then put on a bread. Or I got keto thins and then you put cheese on top and melt the cheese. Oh, yeah. And I was like, this is awesome. So I had already had some of the stuff. Let's, let's try that. It sounds good. I like it. I like and then it. the wife had some sort of pasta pasta salad. And I was like, what? <laughs> Basically, it's broccoli, cauliflower, and then your black olives and whatever else you put in your pasta salad with zesty Italian. Right. Nothing wrong with that. That sounds good. Simple, I can do that. Mama will like that. So, and it was her recipe. So, there you go. The only hard part is I gotta cut up some mozzarella. Oh uh, yeah. And the little chunks, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, it ain't like you're gonna wear your knuckles out grating it. Right, and you know I got a. You have to have one of these. Oh yeah. If you're in the south, you have to have one of these. This is a bab. <laughs> You can see how big it is. This yeah. used to be the throw-up bucket, the soak-your-feet bucket, the 
mixing tater salad. I mean, this was everything, right? We, we used yep. this when you were snapping green beans, snapping peas. Yep. We used this bowl for everything. And you can't find them nowhere these days. Nope. And I was blessed that my dad said, I don't want that thing no more. <laughs> and so it's come to my house and it has became the, when we pull pork, that's where it goes. We pull the pork, it goes into here. There you go. We you eat coleslaw, big salads, or whatever. We use this thing a lot. Almost too much. This is my biscuit bowl, too. When I make biscuits from scratch. Like, after after my, my brain surgery, that's this bowl and I became very, very close. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to learn how to make biscuits. And... This is what I I use this to make it. Well, right, so welcome to the Mama and welcome uh, Pickles Barbecue. Wellness with Frugal Mama, how are you doing, Charlie? Yeah. All so, right. So what I'm gonna make is I'm gonna make a French toast casserole. So uh, I got. What? Yep. I've got keto bread here that I'm going to use. It's uh, the it's the bread that came from uh, Costco because that's what I had. I bought it. There was it was a good price on it. I, I, it. There's only a couple of the keto breads that don't affect my wife's blood sugar, and this is one of them. And um, there's actually three. The one you can get at Walmart, this, and the one that you get at Aldi. <clears throat> they don't affect them. And, uh, you know, that I'm going to do that and it's going to be something, you know, you bake it and then I'm going to do a dish with some eggs that I'll pretty much bet that ain't nobody seen done before. Uh oh, I mean, I could be wrong. We got hey. honey badger and we got hey, mouse toes. Hey, mouse. Mouse toes. How are you doing? Men so, who cook and cook that. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what, what, what are you doing to these eggs? Well, they are hard-boiled eggs. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to put you through watching me hard-boil them. I've already got them hard-boiled, and they're peeled, so you don't have to watch me peel them. Well, see, now that's where I was interested, man. I was like, I want to see the hard-boiling and the peeling because I struggle. And I know James, <laughs> James told me about it, and – I screenshotted it, and I just haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. Well, um, I use the air fryer for mine, and when the, when the shell, sometimes the shell is just a little troublesome, not often, and when it is, I'll just get a, a spoon and run it up underneath the shell and twirl it around there, and it does fine. You know, it comes right off, but it's not often that it does it. Um, but the eggs, I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to get butter going in, in a saucepan, in a, in a small skillet. And uh, then I'm going to put take it off the heat once the butter melts and gets hot. Put the eggs in there. Spice them up. Season them up good. And then I'll take and put um, some cheese on there. And give it a little heat and put a lid on it and melt the cheese. And then it will be ready to eat. So it's it kind of reminds me of this stuffed avocado thing that I saw where they took an avocado in half. Mm -hmm. And then they breaded it. Uh -huh. And then they put stuff in where the pit was. And then they baked it off. Yeah. Yeah. But this will be done all on the stovetop. And okay. uh, I don't have to bread it at all. It's just... Slice it in half and put the yolk side down. Okay, okay. So and and it'll hopefully that it'll crisp it up a little bit as well, you know, on the yolk itself. Okay. All right. Well, without further ado, folks, let's get cooking. Let's fire it up. Let me move this thing over here where I can cut up this here bread. We need to go to the wider view. That'll work. Okay. 
All right, I got my handy dandy bread knife here. Now, let the knife work for you when you're slicing bread. Absolutely. Don't go down into it. You know, saw it. When when the kids, when I'm teaching the kids or or anybody who doesn't run a knife, mm -hmm. you know, I always teach them how to rock it, how to slide. Right. And it's it's amazing. A lot of a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. And you know, look at that. That that piece of bread. I don't have to go stretching bread now. Right. And when you go to, if same thing works, when you at uh, the steakhouse and they bring you out bread there. And See, just, uh, 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 the Mediterranean diet is supposed to be good for diabetes. Have we tried that? Um, technically, no. I know Tom and it didn't Tom work. For Secrets for Men were doing something similar. That well, Charlie was doing the Mediterranean, Tom was dabbling in it, um, but it is supposed to be fantastic for diabetes. Tom said it had the opposite effect for him. Really? Yeah, but he's type two, so I don't know if that has a, a bearing on that. Well, the big thing is you're eating a lot of vegetables, you're eating clean meats like fish and chicken. Yeah. And you're you're getting olive oil, avocado oil, so you're getting the healthy fats. Right. That's I mean, that's what your dietitians really want you to have anyway. Yeah. But you know, the thing is also that it's got um that there's a lot of whole grains and uh such as that that are used in the Mediterranean diet that you know, they're just not keto. And that's what did Tommy. And I don't know if he actually did the whole grains and whatnot, you know, those those ancient grains or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and, and there's like, I mean, you have to modify. Rolling Smoke, Barbecue, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I mean, you have to know your body, too. Yes. Like, I know... If I have a bunch of white starch, I'm going to feel it in my joints. Yeah. Now, by a bunch, I mean like like three meals a day. Yeah. Or two meals a day. Right. A thing of pasta. But you if, I have, in if moderation. I have one thing of biscuits and gravy, and then I don't, then I monitor what I eat the rest of the day, like clean. Right. I'll be good. Right. I won't have any problems. But if I say, oh, no, I can't, I'm going to have biscuits and gravy and then uh, cheese grits for mm -hmm. lunch and then pasta for dinner, I'm done. The next yeah. day I'm sore, I'm hurting. Yeah. So, we'll change prices. So I know that. So I have to, you know, kind of modify what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Right. Well, you know, if you, if you, you know, you gotta, yeah, you gotta play it in there with everything. I'm pay no attention to the fact that I just changed my pan out, my rubber pan. Oh, I thought you just said I changed my pants, and I was like, what? <laughs> what? I, I decided that one was too big. I got the wrong one. Out. So, let me bring it over there. I already did a little bit of the stuff in this. I got the eggs cracked and in here, and this has got uh, a cup of uh, heavy cream, and it's got a cup of, uh, not a cup, but a contain uh, one thing of uh, Quest salted caramel protein drink, uh, protein shake. So now that's interesting. You're using a pre-made protein drink, right? As your milk substitute, right? Right. That's interesting. That's what I thought too. 
<laughs> that was wild. Right, right. Now I got my cinnamon, and I'm gonna add in what looks about right. Because as the world knows, Mike don't measure a whole lot. That's the way I like to cook, man. Is until your ancestors say, "Whoa!" Yeah, until they beg you to stop. And we're from the south, so they ain't gonna beg us to stop. <laughs> They, they, they do tell you on the salt. They, they will get you on the salt. Yep, they will. Because there ain't no covering that up. No. No, there's not. It just... But I have found that you can kill some of the salt taste with a little bit of ranch dressing. <laughs> my daughter, my you know, cub, mm -hmm. she is a ranch aholic. <laughs> she puts ranch on everything. That's my wife. I'll tell you what I found yesterday. I was, I was telling you that I did a, a brisket flats, right? The video is uh, coming. I, I have to edit it up and everything. But I got turned on to Bugagi. I know I didn't pronounce it right. But huh. it's a Korean barbecue sauce. MBL, okay. what's going on, buddy? Um, it's a Korean barbecue sauce. It has it going. And I had made it before, but it, I wasn't like over the moon with it. Right. But I bought one. And let me tell you what. This stuff was off the... It was great. There you go. Look, man. I, I, had, I had, had some pork ribs that I made uh, Monday. <clears throat> and I've had them left over, so I poured this bulgogi on it today. Woo! Uh-huh. That was some good eating. Now, this right here is uh, Splenda Allulose that I got on sale at Kroger. The ingredients are strictly allulose, nothing else in it. And okay. what it was granulated. And I ran it through the food processor and made it uh, powder. So, Rusty, how you doing? Hey, Rusty. Now we've we've had this discussion. I don't know how many times about the sweeteners. Right. And I I I am not like Splenda, Allulose. Uh, what's the other name? Certain this. I don't know. All those. All those. I can't. Stand. I can't, I can't use them. I don't, monk fruit, if I get without the erythritol, I'm okay. But if it has erythritol in it, it's, oops. Well, this doesn't have erythritol in it. I don't know. This one might have some, but it's not much. It's a, well, it's a combination of erythritol and molasses and stevia. So this is Truvia. But I'm using it because I want the brown sugar effect. But I'm not going to use a lot. Korean food is pretty good. I could say this about anywhere, though. Yeah, good food's good food. Yep. Um, moved over here to the top of the lake. Howdy, Tom. Tom's Food Factory. Hey, Tom. Alrighty, I can't see the screen from where I'm at here. Now let me get this all incorporated in here. I got my oven preheating to 375. All right, all right. And this is six eggs that's in here. You can use egg whites if you want. Rusty says, I don't like the aftertaste on any of them. Like lead up. Yep. Yeah. But like Rusty can use the Splenda or the, you know, um, Sweet and Low and Equal. He can use all that stuff. I, I, I know. In his coffee, I know he does it in his coffee. Yeah. Where I'm like, uh, no. Well, I don't use the granulated Splenda, uh, even though that was granulated. It doesn't have a. 
the other ingredients in it that cause problems with the granulated Splenda. Uh, what show you what I use? I can tell you when I want a sweetener, what I use. <laughs> that for coffee or something. What what problems it's right here? That's what I use, and it's because it's uh, it's sucralose, and it's got malic acid. It's a liquid, and the liquid does not contain maltitol, and so it's strictly just the sucralose. Drunken chef, what's up? Why does less family? Oh wait a minute, I'm trying to read this, Charlie. I got you a little farther away. And friends never respond to his buddies. I don't know, man. Probably because they're like, oh, no, they're back on again. We've just talked to them like six times today. I just added some onion and uh, green pepper that I had chopped up. Good. Um, so now comes the chopping. I got to... I got pepperonis. I'm going to chop some up for the both dishes. So I'm going to put this in the oven now and let it cook. 375. It'll probably take about 35 to 40 minutes. 35, 40. Wow, that's a long time. Alexa, set a timer for 35 minutes. Okay. 35 minutes. Starting now. The beans I'm just going to cut into quarters. I don't know how many Mojo get. I don't remember. So I'm just going to do a good, good handful. There you go. Kind of, kind of at whatever you want. Now. Let me get some butter. So what's what's going on there, uh, Mike, at your place? Oh, it's been a week of going to the doctor. Doctors, doctors, doctors. Yeah. You know, dang it. Oh, come on, Piper. You know you don't want to stick in the butter like that. So let me let me ask you something, Mike. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so our pal Misty, uh -huh. a while back, or a couple weeks ago, I was listening to her, and on her little podcast that she does, her mm -hmm. live, she was talking about acknowledging the non-scale victories. I fully, I fully support that. What would you, what was a non-scale victory you had this week? Non-scale victory. Um, now, by that, we mean anything positive, right? It could be anything positive. It can be you woke up in a crappy mood, you walked outside, and... You saw a cardinal chir chirping in the morning and it changed your mood around. Yeah. For me, I've got uh, probably the non-scale victory would be where one of my doctor's visits, um, <clears throat> it, it, uh, urologist, I, I go to him for my prostate and they had done an MRI on it because the PSA levels were up and he said, they told me that uh, prostate looked good, no issues. Said, you're good to go. We'll see you back in six months. Nice. So that was my non-scale victory right there. That sounds great. And I was real pleased with that. Awesome. Our treasured home, how are you doing? Well, hey, good. Man. Let's see. Those, those are the kind of stuff that you know, I think we got to celebrate more of, right? Yeah. Oh, we got Scotty. We got Honey Badger. Oh, did I miss Scotty? Nothing but, Scotty? Nothing but love. All right. Yep. Now, I saw Scotty's got a new barbecue pit. Have you seen this thing yet? I have not. I, I haven't been able to watch much in the way of videos. 
Oh, my goodness. You talk about a new non-scale victory. That dude, he got him an Oklahoma Joe 900 something or other. Woo. Fancy gravity fed. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I see a lot of good stuff out there, but there ain't nobody got anything close to the uh, the arsenal of cooking equipment for outside than Kevin over at Man Kitchen Recipes. Oh, Scotty's getting, Scotty's up there. Scotty is close. That's for dang sure. Yeah. Kevin, man, he just had a he just had a pretty darn good video too. Yes, that chicken, he made some chicken. Oh man, that chicken looks so good. He did it on the rec tech, I think it was. Yeah, and he's got that little A smoke thing that just that thing's a little cooking machine. Yep. Uh Trumpet Master asked what's on the menu. Uh I've got a what's up, Louise? I got a uh, uh, French toast casserole going, and I'm going to do something that I'm I, I've never seen before, and I hope nobody else has, and because uh, we're doing it with eggs. So you got me intrigued. I'm wanting to finish this up real quick so I can watch. <laughs> I got to do it slow. I got to do it last a little bit because I don't you don't want to overcook those things. Yeah, I'm going to hurry, hurry up and get this done so I can watch it. Yeah, I hear you. Um, so I'm doing a pizza sloppy joe with a pasta pasta salad. A what? I know, I know, I know. It's not really a pasta salad, but it's a, a zesty Italian cauliflower broccoli salad. How's that? Gary, hey, Belt Loop. How you doing, Gary? Hey, Belt Loop. How you doing, buddy? Oh, so anyway. So what I got going on is I just, I'm kind of doing both things at once. Mm -hmm. I've got ground pork in here because that's what I had to thaw out that was on sale. Onions, green peppers. Pepperoni, quartered, uh, a small can of mushrooms, drained and rinsed, small can of black olives, drained and rinsed, and I'm getting ready to open up the pizza sauce. Now, my cousin turned me on to this stuff. She's amazing, by the way, but anyway, she, this, this, uh, let me show you. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, there's a pizza place back home. <clears throat> and uh, Honey Badger would probably know it in Sydney. It's called Casano's. This pizza sauce is pretty dang close to what it is. Look at here what we've got. Look at here who has come up here with us. He lives. Mr. Garvey. Yo, ho, ho. Uh, what's up, John? I was wondering whether you were still kicking, man. I, Marie had sent me a message the other day, and I was like, where's Tom? I've been I've been here. Kill that, please. Alexa, stop. Alexa. Charlie, get Hi, it. How you doing? I'm hanging in there, Mike. I mean, uh, I am, like, just totally disgusted with the doctors and and the way they're going about things. It's seven months now. Wow. Yeah. Um, first, you need an MRI, then you don't need an MRI. You need to go get x-rays, you need to get this, you need to get that. Meantime, I'm in, you know, a lot of pain, and then just it's just not right. It's just not working. Man. The thing is, how are you guys doing? What's cooking? I got a French toast casserole. Okay. And I'm doing a recipe with hard-boiled eggs that I don't know anybody's seen it before. Oh, okay, cool. I, um, <laughs> Marie is um, all day, well, actually two days now, trying to get Marie's computer working right again. Something happened, I don't know. Um, 
I think she's out of space, honestly, but I don't know how that would be possible. Oh, for, wow, that's not good. For, for as much as she uses it. But, I mean, you just can't get no straight answers from nobody. But. No. Lee, how you been, brother? Been hanging in there, man. I'm still kicking. I watch I watch a little bit here and there every once in a while. Uh, I get so so disgusted, you know what I mean? <laughs> it just... Yeah. I'm sorry, Tom. Keep... I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, man. Uh, trying to keep trying to keep up with the with the channels. You know, I started the other channel, and um, just trying to keep things rolling here. And, and, and I, you know, it just I got to sit down. I can't stand too long. You know, so it's it's a big big uh, frustration. It really is. But anyway. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Oh, hey. I hear you, man. I wish I could come out there and cook for you. I know you got your hands full and stuff, but, uh, but Jesus. Unbelievable. There's a lot of people in here. Yeah, there yeah. is. Trumpet I'm Master, sure. nothing but love. Man. Pickles, how Pickles, how you been, man? I ain't seen you in a dog's age. Uh, they have one in Indian Lake. Yes, uh, Honey Badger, it's not the same. Um, so Casanos did have a, they did have a franchise, but the one in Sydney is like authentic to the way it's supposed to have been. And all the other ones are not the same. Just saying. Uh, let's see. All right. I think we're all caught up. Tommy, you going to keep up with the comments for me? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll try. We'll give it a give it a shot here. I'm rusty. Right. Rusty. <laughs> no, minute, rusty's, rusty's over in the comments. Yeah, I know. I see him. That's what I mean. Hey, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's um, see. I got. Trumpet, two, what's up, brother? I guess I can start this up now. Scotty's backyard barbecues in the house. Yeah, man. Scotty has over 56 pits. Yeah, he's got a lot. Dang. So my he got he he really talks highly of this uh the pit boss Lexington. Mm -hmm. And my buddy Rusty's got a new pit boss that was given to him. So I'm, I think it's the same one. Okay. Like the same brand. But I haven't been over to cook on it yet to see what all the hype is, you know. Yeah. I sort of I sort of went a different way with keto now. I'm getting I don't know if you watched or whatever, but I had had a little bit of a chip on my shoulder for a little bit about all this crap that got out there that's saying keto friendly, you know, keto. Oh, yeah. now, I know I know I shouldn't say this on here, but but uh, you know some of the some of the well known stuff that people fall in line with, as far as uh, you know, like chow and stuff like that. Okay, I mean if if you're gonna go for that kind of stuff, just go eat regular. You know, if you have a slice of bread or two, you'll you'll feel the effects. You'll feel it, but then you move on from there. You know what I mean? Instead of putting this junk in your system that you really don't know about. So anyway, that's that's enough. I won't say anymore. <laughs> I hear you. I haven't tried any of the protein powders or. Fixed. I mean, I mean, I used to back in the day. I would do Slim Fast, but the way that I would do that though was it was an excuse to have a milkshake. Exactly, that's then, my point. Then I got to where I would get a big bowl of Rocky Road ice cream, yeah, put the Slim Fast powder on top of it, but then it was healthy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, here's what here's what kills me. Okay, keto bread. All right, net zero carbs. There's no such thing as net zero. I mean, I don't care where you go, what what part of life you're from. Because it's net zero. When you do the math, it comes up less than one. Yeah, if you do the but who who developed that? What you tell me? What doctor or what nutritionist developed that? That was just a way that the bread companies come up with to sell their bread. That's, yeah, that's, and it's the fibers where they're yes, it's, it's not digestible, yeah. and that's where they're getting the net carbs. But that's not that's not been proven, you know. It's I mean, it's still not you know well, still not proven. 
That because you got vegetarians. You got vegetarians that eat nothing but fiber. Okay. That goes and they still have type two diabetes and stuff like that. That's that's my rant. You know, the the, the fiber goes back to when I when, when I was first diagnosed as type two back in two thousand. They had told me about you can deduct the fiber from the total carbs. They're also they're also the same nutritionists and the same people that come out and said you can have beans, you can have peanuts, you can have legumes. Okay, you can't. It's still carbs. It's still high carbs. So it's 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 a dollar game is basically what it is. Okay. So my point is, if you're going to spend seven dollars for half a loaf of bread, okay, get the regular bread. Knock yourself out. Have a couple slices, and you, you're going to feel the pain and whatever, and move on from there. I mean, it just don't make any sense. Yeah. You know. Seven dollars bread for three dollars, especially where the prices are right now. It's almost ridiculous. Right. I tell you what, that's um, the shelves in the store are about barren too. In a lot of cases, yeah, a lot of caps in the shelves. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, just that Zekel bread. Uh, you know, I mean that stuff you could you could probably sand the bottom of a boat with. I don't yeah. eat that stuff there at all because that does not taste good to me one bit. Even yeah, before, and, I was, you know. and that's my point. I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, say any, you know, say anything bad about. It, but why? It's it's a matter of dollars, mm -hmm. dollars and cents. I mean, if I could take the same product, if I can take an ice cream comb and tell you, you know what, you're going to grow hair from this. Every bald person out there is going to buy it. Yeah. Okay. Because it's the potential that they're going to grow hair, and yep. that's that's basically what it's all about. So. Yep. You know. I, I even with the medicine, even with even with the doctors and stuff. All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting now. Three weeks, okay, after the MRI. All right, three weeks to get a decision about it. Me, am I getting it a shot or not? So it's just it's it's that thing, you know. The the same thing, you guys, you know that when Budweiser, okay, and all of a sudden, you know, every regular beer, Miller beer, whatever beer it was, and all of a sudden they come out with light beer. Right. Yeah. I still got drunk. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. So, Near beer. Yeah. Looks like we got so a lot of here Just melting the butter and let it get hot. I'm not going to keep it on the flame when I start to season it up because I don't want to burn the eggs. And these are hard boiled eggs that I just cut in half. Okay. They're already um, boiled. Shell the whole nine yards. Now I'm getting this done, and I'm kind of you might say I'm browning the butter a little bit too. You can, and there's a fine line between brown butter and burnt butter. Oh, yeah, you can taste it too. <laughs> what can you ever <laughs> trust me because I have done it? Because, <laughs> yeah. slim fast peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> uh, pit boss 820 and the, oh yeah the vertical series five yep the uh houston livestock and rodeos this weekend y'all yep oh wow i don't know if you uh follow any of that but it is the probably close to the biggest barbecue event Perfect. Out there, mm -hmm. I would say it's a 23 day actual rodeo mm -hmm. contest, but okay. it kicks off with the barbecue event. And I want to say there's like three or four hundred teams out there. Okay, uh, Uncle Steve's got a he's been out there for 30 plus years. Wow, so, I used to get out there when I used to live in Katy. Matter of fact, I used to have, I, the company I worked for was a, was a moving company, and I, I did all commercial moves. And uh, we used to move from uh, the airport to um, actually it was back then it was held at the uh, Astrodome outside the Astrodome. Oh wow! And we used to get there. Yeah, quite a few quite a few years I was there. We were going to try. I was going to try to make it this year. In fact, me and dude had talked about doing, but once my knee blew out, that was it. Is Astrodome still there? It's still there, but it's from what I understand, it's in it's in bad shape. So, uh, yeah, I bet it is. 
I knew it was up for the longest time, and I didn't know if they'd ever finally took it down or what. That was quite the place. All right. Don't want cinnamon on my eggs. Net carbs is like saying it's 40, but feels like 32. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't buy into the whole net carbs because I'm diabetic and my sugar doesn't care. Exactly. Once you once once you shove something in your mouth, all of a sudden uh, everything starts to work. You know, your insulin starts working. It doesn't know that it's net carbs. Has no idea. Man, once you once you like look at food, your sugar goes up. I, you know, I, I got to clarify. I got to clarify how why I'm like this right now. Okay, is because here's the thing. For three years, I broke my chops to get my blood sugars down, everything working right. Okay, gave up a lot of stuff that I really love to eat. I'm going to be 70 years old. All right. And I hurt my knee. I go to the doctor, and the first thing they do is they give me a steroid shot. Yep. Okay. So blow your blood sugar out. The so blood. my, exactly. So my blood sugar went from 140 to almost 400. Yep. Okay. And I asked the doctor. What's the dip? This is going to help my knee, but what happened to the rest of me? So what are you really trying to tell me that what I put in my mouth, if I have a slice of cake, it's going to kill me? You know, it's going to raise it 20, 30 points, and it's, it's a bad thing? You're telling me it's okay to have this shot and raise it up a couple hundred points. So that's why I went into the rant. Plus, I couldn't walk and everything else, so I was just a, I was a get-off-my-lawn type of guy for a couple weeks. Marie just screamed out, miserable. <laughs> Well, you know, when you bust your butt and it doesn't pay off the way you, if that happens, that's I did it. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a you know one of them things where what Jesus crying out loud. What I look for with the um, there there is a difference between simple and complex heart carbohydrates. Uh huh. It's all in how your body breaks it down. That's right. Everybody's different. Complex is like your white starches. It has to take it from the white starch, convert it to sugar, then convert it to be able for your body to break it down. So, yeah. It's even, complex is, it has more steps, and it has to turn it into something that the body can break down. Yeah. Uh, Me, I'm not diabetic. I do... I, I do do the net carbs. Paige does the net carbs, but uh, also, but there's only certain breads that we'll get, and that's I have tried out several, and the, there's three that do not affect her blood sugar whatsoever. It does not spike it, but she's type one diabetic as opposed to you being type two. Mm -hmm. So big that, difference. Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. So uh, she the Aldi bread. Does not spike her blood sugar. The Walmart bread does not spike it. The keto bread, mm -hmm. the so-called keto bread, and the uh, the uh, the keto tortillas that are zero net carbs that doesn't spike them either. Mm -hmm. And then the Sam's Club, not Sam's Club, the one you get at uh, Costco, it does not spike it. So those things, you know, I can do them. Only because I know it's not going to have a bad effect for them. Well, well pa Paige has a double-edged sword because Paige has got to worry about it dropping. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And, or or going too high. So. Exactly. I found, I found the Arnold keto bread. Mm -hmm. I don't have inflammation issues that I get from regular white bread or wheat bread. Right. Now, and and that's because when I would buy a loaf. So, I would have sandwiches until it was gone. Yeah. I would sit so, out so, and have two sandwiches and go on. Yeah, I could so, have two of these sandwiches and I don't feel bad later. Mm -hmm. And what's the diff what's the price the price difference between that and a regular loaf of bread? Uh, there's about six bucks. Okay. But the reason why it's okay for me to do that is this is the the wife and the kids don't eat this, and it yeah. limits me to special occasion like i don't need it every day yeah it's a special occasion this will last me probably all week well 
Probably till next week. Okay. We'll see. Um, well, maybe not because I'm making some for the wife. But the ones I get, they're not as costly because the Aldi, I can get it for four bucks. And the same with the other two, I can get it for like four dollars or less a, a loaf. Yeah, but but you, I mean, you just understand my point about about how, how you I know. Do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all a personal decision. It's it's the same same difference as grass fed beef and regular regular uh, corn, you know, grain uh, fed. Okay. All right. We we are accustomed to grain fed beef. Yeah. I don't care where you go. Okay. And uh, I lived in North Carolina, and they would we would butcher uh, cattle left and right. I did not care for it. They most of the time they ground up the whole thing in, into ground beef. Uh, it's it's an acquired taste, and and uh, a lot smaller and stuff. So, with that said, you know what I mean? Just like um, margarine and butter was the same thing. Oh, margarine was great. Cholesterol, the whole the whole nine yards, okay, until they made their money with it. And then all of a sudden decided to get, guess what? Margarine sucks. Margarine can hurt people. You know what I mean? So, Which, you know, so you lead right into a thought that I had the other day. So, when you get... I, and it crossed my mind because the kid, my daughter was doing cookies, right? She mm -hmm. was making cookies. And the cookie dough, they would say, don't eat raw cookie dough because it has eggs in it. Right. But then the weightlifter guys, back when I was growing up, the WWF guys, were chugging six or eight. <laughs> and you're like, what? Well, yeah. I mean, and that's my that's my whole point, Lee. I mean, I'm not I'm not picking on nobody. I'm not. I'm just saying, really, you know, uh, all of a sudden this thing's okay, and now it's not. You know, what I'm, it's just I don't know. Like everybody, yeah. the, the big cholesterol thing cracks me up. Yeah, everyone's uh, falling apart. Yeah, Charlie, we are. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what's the type keto banner scrolling at the bottom? So. They've got this thing set up with, uh, I believe it's Nightbot, that yeah. if you type keto, then it should bring up your YouTube channel. Yeah. You're linked to the link. You're linked to the channel in the chat. Your channel. That's right. So if you want to put your channel up there, if you have a channel. Which I was, when I was listening to our pal Misty, her live the other day, what she was talking time? about they had um, dad jokes. So if you typed in whatever her tag was to get a dad joke, it would throw one in the chat. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, maybe that didn't work. You're supposed to type. Yeah, it says if you just type keto. I don't know I how typed, it all works. But. I typed in once and it came up three times. Huh. Yeah, Nightbot, Nightbot like is drunk. <laughs> Nightbot screws up periodically, so Nightbot is drunk. Now let me put a lid on this and let it melt. Let's yep, see back in the seventies with everything. Yeah, because I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, when you make brownies and cookies and cakes and stuff, and you put the the egg in there, and then we used to always get the beaters. You know, they'd always give us the beaters, and they're like, "Here, eat this." I'm like, "All right, cool." But then now the packages tell you not to eat the raw dough because it's got additives in it. in it. It's got additives in it. That's what it's got in it. It's got stuff that yeah, you're not supposed to be eating. Yeah. But you know, if you're afraid of the raw eggs, like with eggnog, if you're afraid of it, get pasteurized. Yep. Yeah. I'm allergic to eggs. I'm, I'm raw egg. I'm definitely uh, uh, allergic to. Okay. But right. I mean. That's, I, I see, that's a whole different ball game. If you you're you're doing it because you're allergic, but if you're but if you're doing it because you're afraid you'll get a bad egg, well, first off, you open it up, you're gonna smell it. Mike, I know a lot of bad eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Tom! I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. I'm under construction here, man. I'm I'm. You know what it is? I'm I'm just questioning everything, just the way everybody questions us about. Why we would do keto? I'm I'm questioning hey, everything. Dude. We got the grilling dude in here. Uh, most people don't want to jump into YouTube for doom and gloom. It's an escape. All right, all right. Yeah, Charlie, you're right. Okay. So no well, doom and gloom, Tom. Pickles, what do you? No, no doom and gloom. You know, 
Here's what I'm doing. I'm eating all whole, whole foods. Low mm-hmm. carbs I can, no sugar. And that's where I'm at. Plain How simple. is the garden? The, the, the garden? Whoa. Back 40. You're, in, you're, you're stepping on toes now, brother. Okay, now you're stepping on toes. We don't discuss the lower 40 because we don't want the neighbors to come and steal our little plants. Oh, oh. oh. I was like, wait a minute now. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. But, but, see. Even in Vegas, you're allowed to. California might be different, but Vegas, yeah. you're allowed. I think. You know what? We we've, we've had t- nothing but a week's worth of rain out here. It's almost scary. But anyway, yeah, she's planting everything. We got stuff going everywhere. So, Mike, you seen how big the my lower forty was? So, uh huh. So pretty soon, that's got. That, it looks like looks like we just threw a a, a box of Dixie cups out there. And it's got little shoots coming out everywhere. Good. Now, if she can only grow All a fifty dollar right, bill, I'd be fine. I want y'all to check that out. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring you up big time on this one, cause. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's the eggs right there. Those are the eggs, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Yes, man. I still put eggs on my milkshake. Yeah. These days, it's pretty impossible to get raw, raw milk. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it's all pasteurized these days. Yeah, it is. Basically, it is. I mean, I I see a couple different channels out there that say, well, you should have raw milk and this and that. Can't find it. I mean, great to ask what Tom means with lower 40. <laughs> MBL, Marie, back, let me go back. Back in the day, we were in North Carolina. We had 17 acres, and we grew just about everything, okay? okay. Semi-retired, the whole bet. Now, Marie, any anything, seed that Marie got, boom, put it in the ground, and, and it grew. So now, she loves the garden. So the lower 40 is my balcony, and I think the balcony might be 5 by 10. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, so we got... We got little cups of seeds everywhere. Thank God marijuana is legal out here because, you know, I'm sure she would try to want to grow a little bit of that too. <laughs> oh, the ganja. Ganja, man, ganja. Uh, but, uh, the, the oregano. <laughs> yeah, oregano, oregano. Mexican oregano. Yeah. Um, Lee, what's in that big bowl you got there? My pastelous pasta salad. Oh, that sounds so interesting. I took out the, my wife found it on Facebook or somebody tagged her or whatever. Mm-hmm. But basically, you take out the pasta and you put in broccoli and cauliflower. There you go. And then you add in your pepperoni, your black olives, and your zesty Italian. I added some bacon bits. And this is, that's it. Looks good, man. But this, this, uh, I'm, I won't go back into the bowl because that's a special bowl. Okay, yeah, I, I, I was just going to say that. I ain't seen that since my grandmother. Yep. The, growing up, this bowl was our everything bowl. We did everything in this bowl. Yeah. I'm trying to figure this stupid thing out. There, there it goes. Hey, Mike. So Yo. I got a torch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Oh, there you go. Nice. We're gonna have to cash in. Uh. Give me a give me a month or so. We're gonna have to cash in on our our wealth, okay? Okay. I, well, I, I, I got another fifty cents off of egg life wraps. <laughs> we up to what a dollar fifty? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seventy five cents each, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, wow. I mean, it, it's amazing, 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 amazing that they just shrugged shrugged it off. Okay, and then they keep sending me out here. Here's another coupon. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That'd be, that'd be the the uh, the massive garden he's got. Would would, would uh would garden, have, as far as I can see. Yeah, if <laughs> you got cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. I'm telling you what, it is amazing what Marie does with that space. I mean, I just I just said to her yesterday, I said, you know, 
that I wish I could take the camera out and show you, but that the pepper plant, okay, it maybe got maybe 40 leaves on it, okay, and it's almost six, a little over six foot. I said, maybe we'll just cut it down and just see if it comes back or whatever, get rid of it. No, I think we'll hang on to it. Life with Nicole, Marie, and Gary. Welcome to the live. I appreciate you coming. Now I'm going to pull out my casserole here in a minute. Actually, I'm going to go on ahead and do what I want to on the top. I'm going to check if it's close enough to what I want. So, okay. Alexa, stop. Timer. I don't do that, Mike. Don't. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's see here. I watched Cooking Secrets for Men, and he he said about Alexa, give me a time. My my thing went off half the night. Ten minutes are up. <laughs> Let me show y'all what this looks like. If y'all can see it. That's a neat little torch you got there, buddy. Yeah, we can see it, Mike. Yeah. I picked What's this up. up yeah. I picked this up at Academy in the barbecue section. And this is my third one now, because I took it apart to refill the one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I screwed it up. So I had to go buy a new one. Yeah. But I kind of like it. I've had it in the cupboard for, I don't know, six months or better. Okay. I got a little bit of those Walden Farms caramel, and I'm going to just kind of drizzle it on here if it'll drizzle. There you go. There's that. Now, I got Flavor God cinnamon roll, buttery cinnamon roll seasoning that I'm going to try and get to crystallize just a touch on top. Nice. It's taking me a little while to get this toasted up pretty good, but it's doing it. Yeah, I could see from here. I could see it browning up a little bit. Life with Nicole and, and, and Gary says, looks good, Mike. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Looks amazing. I appreciate it. And in a minute, it's going to be ready to eat. We're going to get the, get the missus to try us, uh, do a post test. This shit. Just going just gonna to say, how's Miss Paige doing? She's doing okay. She's doing okay. She's, um, some memory days are worse than others. And, you, know, you know, it's, it's, it's the nature of the beast with that. Yeah. 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 You, I'll tell you one thing. You could. You got you got a whirlwind going right now, brother. I, I see you got a whirlwind going right now. So yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. But I try, you know. But, uh, let me get a plate so I can put some of this on the plate. Lee, how you doing with everything? Okay. Been hanging in there, man. Uh, you know, you still get into the mental health of everything and. That's where I struggle the most. Yeah. Um, and that's something that I've never, never had to address. Right. And, you know, now it's, uh, you'll be rolling fine and all of a sudden, man, it's just like your knee popped and you're in a, you're in down the dumps. And, yeah. uh, tell me about that. Yeah. It, it's, that's been the hard part. Um, to be completely honest. Yeah. I, have, uh, I hear that. I understand this. Me uh, just <laughs> and, and finding, I'm a guy. We don't talk about feelings. Yeah. We talk about it. Ninety percent of the people that ask you how you're doing, they don't want to know all. They want to know everything's good. They'll run from you in a heartbeat. <laughs> and so you you learning how to. 
not sound like a train wreck right or a emotional cry baby yeah yes yes so um yesterday's video was it took me 27 times to get the audio out because it was hard for me to put what i was feeling into words mm -hmm. and uh that stuff that, that as a guy you have to share, you have to tell people. And Can't that's, hold it in; it'll kill you. It's yes, it, it will. Because, Makes things worse. Because you keep that in, your blood pressure goes up, your sugar goes up, and you want to eat. Like I, I had a health, real bad drinking problem, and I, you know, I'm off that. I do the when I want a beer, I get the the zeros. Yeah. And and I'm all good. But the way to combat that now is how do I self-destruct? And that's going to sugars and sweets because it'll raise my sugar, which makes you feel good, but then makes you feel even worse. Yeah. The immediate satisfaction of, dang, that brownie was good. But then the way you feel two hours later, when you're like, zombified and you can't see straight mm -hmm. well okay you know like like i said before getting back to you know with me with the with, my, with the problem that i i just had a i had a problem with it because it was all to me it was all bullshit okay and, and i'm gotta speak frankly but as the, <laughs> the funny part about it was as they had the doctor had the needle in my knee he said oh by the way are you type 2 diabetic because this is going to raise your blood sugar I said, you mean to tell me you had me out there for 45 minutes filling out a paperwork? You didn't read any of it? Seeing that I am a type 2 diabetic? You know, what part of this is, it's nuts, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I, this, this past, I guess it was last year, I guess the past January last year, that's when they finally told me after uh, 15 years that I was cancer-free. No, no, no more bladder cancer. Okay. And I took that with a grain of salt because you know why? It's not gone. Whoa. Dinner time. Look at there. Dinner nice. time. Go ahead, Tom. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 no. Yeah, this you guys are cooking. I'm I'm just here throwing the ball. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just I'm living life. That's all I'm gonna do right now. Well, you know, right, wrong, or indifferent, that's how I'm doing it. I, I will say the last time I was at the doctor's and we changed my thyroid medicine. And we changed my diabetes medicine. Upped it. And stopped it, you said? No, we we upped it. Oh, okay. And I haven't been focused because there for a while I was hyper focused because I felt like I was not in control of anything. And that should have been something that I could have controlled. Mm -hmm. So I was being hyper focused on that. And because I mean, the rest of my brain, it's my brain's still healing right. and feeling like that I couldn't control anything. That was something I should be able to control when really my body's doing what it's doing. Right. You just got to figure out the plan and, and maneuver with it instead of going against it, which is, I was swimming up current down the, the river, right. you know? And so lately I've been, 130s, 140s, average. That's Sweet. good. That's I'll good, Lee. That. I'll take that. Yep. And it, the 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 eating hasn't changed. Tom's the, the medicine and not focusing on it has. Here's my girl. Yeah. Hi, hey. Paige. Hi. I have syrup. If you're this not. one's for you. Ooh. Look mm. at that. That looks good, Lee. Let me try not to spill it. Yeah. This. That looks great. That looks really good. Now I got something yummy looking here. What is this? That's French toast, casserole, and that's perfect yoga. What's up, Uncle? Hey, Uncle. That man's a machine right there. You ain't kidding. French toast. Is that okay, French drum roll, please. Um, Mm. She likes it. It's good. 
guys. These are good. So good. Oh my syrup. god. Get the money shot, Lee. Get nope. the money shot. Don't, don't want syrup. No one syrup. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. And then this is eggs. That's eggs. What cooked how? They're hard boiled, and I cooked oh. them in butter with cheese and what? seasoning. And mm, man. <clears throat> Right, Miss Miss Nancy says hello, Paige. How you doing? Hi, Nancy. Mm. To our mm. treasure at home. <laughs> See, it's a hit. It's a hit. Very good. Okay. He's raising the roof. Mm -hmm. And the boys, our dogs are down here, hoping yeah, staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not dropping it. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Uh, enjoy. Good to see you guys. Take care. Nice seeing you again, Paige. I'll eat this. <laughs> Please do. I, I made it so you'd eat it. There you go. How's you, how's you guys' weather doing? Uh, 30s, 30s in the morning. Yeah. And then it got up to almost 60. Yeah, same here. We got 30 degree swing. Yep. I tell you, we had we probably had a week of cold weather. I mean, one couple nights went down in the twenties, but mostly it's been uh, you know forties, thirties, and forties at night. I mean high thirties, and then this week just started. I mean the rain is like ridiculous. I mean, uh, be, between 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 that and my knee, you know, I, I go like this to Marie in the morning, carry me. <laughs> but she and all of a sudden she goes deaf. You know she don't want to hear nothing, but uh. Now it's now it's like today was like seventy, a little overcast, but uh, it's been nice. It's really nice. So we did. We walked a five k Saturday. I seen part of that. Yeah. It was fifty degrees and the wind was blowing crazy, so it was cold. <laughs> but but Lee, you're out there doing it, and that's that's what I try to explain to people. You know what I mean? When you when you get you hit with something catastrophic or something that really affects your life, okay. You can't sit and dwell on it. Yep. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it sucks and this and that. And so you got you got to move on with it. Hey, out of seven months, I was been in bed for four months. Couldn't walk. Nothing. Okay. Hobbling to the bathroom, back out again, whatever. And that's as far as I could get. Right. <clears throat> you talk about Marie wanted to change her name to Martha because every <laughs> little freaking thing I bothered me. You know what I mean? It was just it was just ridiculous. So but, what I'm hearing is I need to give you a list of, I don't know, my whole channel and let you put in tags and <laughs> you know, <laughs> titles. <laughs> you know what? I I you know, even got I even got sick of, I even got sick of watching or going on a computer. You know what I mean? Because it was just like hey, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a takeaway. Here's here's what I got. How to get a million views overnight. Okay? And I said, this guy don't give a rat's behind about whether I get a million views or not. As long as I click on that <laughs> and watch him talk gibberish. And I said, boy, I tell you what, talk well, about con men. We were talking about one of the videos uh, a couple weeks ago. And I, he's got like 200 views on it. I've got like 350. And I'm like, whoa, man, we're, we're killing it. Yeah. I go to the analytics. Yeah. <laughs> These, these, it wasn't even like a skiable slope. I mean, it just dropped. 30 seconds, dropped. So thank you for everybody who shows up and watches. I appreciate yeah. it. And, uh, you know, there's still a lot of people that say that I'm that guy that is in between. I just watched this. And I'm looking for something else. That's that's why I started the other channel because I cook for a living. This this right here, the keto part of it, has me in a corner, has me trapped. Okay, okay. so I got to yep. get to the point where uh, either I sell my soul to the devil or keto chow. You know what I mean? Uh, and and go against my principles with stuff, or I start at the other channel, and I do it once a week. I cook whatever I want to cook, you know, and, and just roll on from here. I do what I know how to do best. I don't have no agendas. It's just cooking something. Somebody yeah. wants to watch it, they can watch it. If they don't want to watch it, see you later. But I'm just, I'm more relaxed with it, doing it. You know what I mean? 
I try to do a <laughs> funny as hell. Try to do this last keto one I put up today. Okay. I burnt myself. I did because I felt like I was under pressure. You know, how, how am I going to do this the right way? You know, with no, no crazy stuff. So my point is to everybody eat what you like to eat. Okay. Try to keep the sugar out and live life. Don't get, don't get tied down with something. Hey, it took me 50, 60 years to get, you know, to that, that heaviest point of my life. And now I'm down 68, 68 pounds there and holding it. So, I mean, you know, if I eat a slice of bread, you know, nail me to the cross. But if you want to shoot a steroid in my knee and raise my blood sugar, what's the difference? You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. But that's what we were talking. If I want biscuits and gravy, I'll have the biscuits and the gravy, but then the rest of the day I eat clean. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, so I don't have that. Right. Compound yeah. Exactly. Feeling I, bad. I didn't want to. I didn't want to come on and, and be that aggressive in the beginning. But I tell you what, it pisses me off sometimes just to listen to some bull crap that people put up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. here we are. You know, you just both of you just put a really delicious meal together, and look how easy it is. And you know, it's cook. You know? That's good. So well, it's time to go eat it now. Yes, sir. Yep. Tom, Tom you don't know how good it does my heart to see you come in here tonight. That's, well, uh, that's get, get used to it because, uh, you know, I might be coming back. I would love that. Um, that I, 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 I want to thank you guys for, for uh, keeping my name up there and, and everything else like that. Uh, it's It's been a miserable couple months for me. It really has been. Just, you know, wait till you restrict it. Part of it in some way. What's that? It wouldn't be the channel. It wouldn't be the live. Yeah, I mean, you we're involved in it some way. I told Marie last week. I said, "You know what? This is we started something here on Wednesdays, and uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys, you know, kept it going and just didn't walk away from it. That was the big thing for me." Lee and I've been. We've Thank been you, MBL. Right on through. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. I, look through it. I look forward to it. Yeah. I do too. So it's it's, too. A, it's a good out. It's a good way to show other people. Okay, guess what? Three grown men can stick to something without sitting around drinking beer and, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know and, uh, which doing... I'll tell you what, I, don't... <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that all the time, man. Yeah. And, and, and there again, nothing wrong with it, but in the same token, though. but in the same token, what the hell, you know what I mean? Uh, we're doing something here trying to show people, you know, guess what? We had, we had problems <laughs> and, uh, we walked away from, you know, walked away from it. Nancy wants to know what your other channel is. Right there. Yep. The Sunday Dinner Chef. It's so relaxing to do that, okay? Uh, I, I, I kicked it off with making bread because what's the main thing I make is bread. But I got to tell you, all right, I had a couple slices, and it was right back almost to square one again. You know? No, yeah. I oh. oh, I got a headache. And I almost texted you earlier, but I got sidetracked and forgot. Uh-uh. I saw a white baked tater on your keto show. And guess who ate that? Probably. Marie. Marie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which Marie. That, happens, that happens a lot of times where we'll make something and then I'm like, I'll, I'll try it, but I don't want a whole lot of it. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's right. Marie and uh, Gary said he'll drink a beer. Yeah. He'll drink a beer for both of them. Hey, I've been known to suck the bottom out of one, but I haven't. I don't do it anymore. It's it's so rare I have anything to this drink. This is my this is my uh have a little little just, bit of vino and I didn't have a problem with it. I just don't want I just don't well, want it Yeah, I mean uh, not the yeah. way I used to. I mean Christ I could could couldn't get through a, a, a shift cooking with uh without well, telling a half a gallon of scotch. Yeah, July fourth beer for me. I appreciate it. That would be a wonderful thing. July fourth will be when I began my ten year journey. Cool. Yeah. Right. I've fallen off the wagon a few times, but it's been six years since I've fallen the last time. So, oh, man, you you killing it. So, yeah. Man, nothing wrong with that, it, man. It, I will. I, I mean, I'll drink the Budweiser Zeros or the whatever, the non alcoholics. Mm -hmm. I don't mind them every now and again, but it's not the. I don't have that desire <laughs> like I used to. You change your taste. I got to tell you something. This is the God's honest truth. I don't know. Right? I still like my cheap beer. 
Yeah. I still get the old Milwaukee. <laughs> when, 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 when I when I was when I was getting ready to start the other channel, okay, it was for another reason. And I told you about this privately about about what the deal was going to be, okay. And that sort of fell through when I hurt my leg. But okay, <laughs> the first the first dinner I made, okay, I actually looked like a. I was like this, getting ready to cut the bread. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want it no more. I don't need it. Okay. But just to do a regular cooking channel. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you have to add in what people like, you know. So I made ciabatta bread. <laughs> okay. And that actually got the most views. But it was so, it was, I was like this, trying to cut it. <laughs> Get the knife on there. The whole bit. Now, when I went to put the baked potato into the oven, I dropped it three times. So it was like, it was almost like somebody going, stop it. Stop it. Uh, have it have y'all ever had Stroh's beer or Schaefer's? Yeah. Stroh's. I, man, I, that cheap stuff. I love that cheap stuff. That My dad used to drink Rheingold. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would never pass the Budweiser. Like, I would, like, if you're walking down the aisle, and when you hit the Budweiser... Then you got into my section. <laughs> you just kept walking. And so you got down to the PBR, the old Milwaukee, the the bush light. That, that was that, that was, was my point. Out. That was my point when I first came in about, about all this stuff with you know with this keto stuff and phone, phony keto crap. It's the same thing. Beer back in the day was beer. You had four or five different brands. Okay. Now you got um ice or you got to, I mean. It's going to do the same thing to you, no matter how you add it up. Yeah, you know I mean, whether it's you know uh, ultra it depends on how quickly it does the same thing to you. There yeah. again, there, there again. I mean, if you can have one or two, it's fine. But if you're going to eat a yeah. loaf of bread, same thing in our situation. So, yeah, it's it's buying, all good stuff. If you're buying bush ice, you're not doing it for the taste. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's, that, that's you know, a fifteen dollar. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't drink the Budweiser and the Bud Light because I just don't like them. Yeah. Never have liked them. No, I like, I like, I mean, Michelob is made by Budweiser, but I like, I, I was, I Michelob used to I like. I was okay with, but uh, in the bush, I was okay with, but the Bud and the Bud Light, no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we first moved down here, Yingling was the thing. Yeah. I like a Yingling. Love me a Yingling. That was on overtime paycheck day, right? <laughs> Yep. And, That's and, when we would get a case of yeah. 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 And then they sold in uh, Budweiser bought them. Yeah. Because they were only sold in six states. Well, Stroh's, actually, Stroh's and that was only up in, when that first came out, because that was that was uh, Schaefer. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then and then uh, they come out with, uh, they, they backlogged Schaefer, and then Stroh's sort of took over, and then... Uh, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it was all same, same, same brewery. Yeah. Old yeah. Mill was Stroh's. Yeah. yeah. So, but. yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, there again, just like white bread. Okay. Rye bread. Okay. Bread. It's bread. Yeah. No matter how you add it up. So if you need it, you want to have it, have a slice, have a two. If you're going to have three, then you're going to separate the consequences. End of story. Speaking of the rye, it made me think of the chaffle that I made. That made me think of what Jason did the other day. Just Jason Keto, mm -hmm. we did a butter truffle. Oh, dear me. That looks so blasted good. I haven't watched it yet. It's in my queue. He's he's the truffle king. I keep looking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Anyway. Well, gentlemen, you guys did a hell of a job today. Thank you, sir. Thanks for bringing me up. Yep. Well, thanks, for, thanks for gracing us with your presence. Yeah, well, I, hey, I'm so glad to see you. I was I was going to give you a call last week, Mike, and I said, you know, I'm going to wait. I said, I told Marie, I might pop up, and then but last week I had just a bunch of crap going on, and then, I'm, 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 to, I'm to the point now where I'm walking with a cane, so I can get around a little bit better. I'm not as honorary as I was, you know. Well, that's where you were when I was out there. Yes. You were on a cane then, and then you had a you had to. You had a backslide. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm laughing at it. No. I, I'm telling you, I would drink Panther pee before I drink Zima. <laughs> we were talking about Zima's the other day because somebody made a comment about it. My youngest daughter was like, 
Snappy. What are those like? <laughs> yeah. So it's, see, that's my point. You know, moonshine. Remember, remember you know, when they had all that show with the moonshiners and stuff like that? Uh -huh. okay. it's, it's still on. Yeah. yeah. I love that show. I, I watch it because I, hey, I used to chase them. Yeah. So, I mean, so the bottom line is it's, it's alcohol. And if they take that alcohol and it goes. So there you go from day one. So you make your own bread. What the hell is the difference? You know what I mean? So, Tom, I've got, um, when I quit drinking back in, uh, well, it would have been July of 2014. I had just gotten a shipment of moonshine in from West Virginia from a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy. Anyway, yeah. I've still got two full quarts in the bottom of the fridge in the there drawer. That's the only thing in that bottom drawer of the refrigerator. And the girls are always like, what are you going to do with that? And I said, I don't know. And but every time I open that fridge, that's the first thing I see. Yep. And that is my choice not to. Exactly not to right, brother. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm proud of you. Yep. I worked with a guy whose favorite beer was OPB. Other people's, people's beer. beer. Yep. <laughs> I, knew, I knew a lot of guys like that. When I lived in North Carolina, right, and if I would do some, do some work or something for somebody there, uh, like an old lady down the street, her you know hinge hinge came loose on her door and stuff. I would go down and fix it, and she would give me a mason jar of moonshine. And I'm like, I'm what the frig, you know? So, but then I come to find out that at that time it was like forty five bucks for for a mason jar. Yeah. Okay. So what I would do is I'd keep it, but then I would take that, and I would make limoncello with it. I would make zambuca with it. Okay. And then I would give that, in other words, repurpose it again, back and forth. So, hell yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right, stuff. folks. Let's get out of here because yep. I need to go feed the wife and the dogs. got to feed me. Taken out, but. Uh, I'm fed the wife. Because <laughs> I care about the next scene, everybody. Think about this um, for next week. Yeah. Wait on. What? For, for a topic. Keto and fermentation, not okay. information, but fermentation. Fermentation. Okay. 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 So I'll, think I'll, about I'll, that as is a topic that we can kick around. Okay. We gonna cook or just talk? Well, we can cook too, but okay. uh, there's another topic to. Uh, you cook, I'll get fermented. All right. All right. Let's do something that has something fermented in it. Okay. Okay. We could do, yeah, something for a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Tom. <laughs> but I was, that's something that's been kind of intriguing is fermentation. Yeah. And, you know, I've been kind of looking a little things up, a little here and there, some homesteaders. But anyway, we'll get to that next week. There you go. I like Thank it. You. Come on, some good stuff. Y'all take care, everybody. Take care. Y'all take care. Have a great week. And remember, there's two rules in cooking. Did you have fun? Did it taste good? That's Rock good. on. Y'all are awesome. Let's be careful out there. Hey, see you around like a